Yo, what's up? We are now at Klofta and uh, there's one thing I always wanted to know. How can we improve the efficiency on the e-tron? Because, you know, it's a thirsty car. Uh, and ever since I tried it the first time, uh, was, was it over a year ago? Don't remember. Uh, I always wonder why Audi designed these rings to be like this. You see, you can, you can almost fist these rings. So, uh, we will test something. I will try to tape the rings, <laughs> just for fun. Um, but first we have to do some control tests. We have to test regular now without any modification and then we try this trick and see if it helps. And uh, as usual, I will drive this stretch here and then back again. And every time I do this with other cars, I get very consistent results. So I will cruise at 110 kilometers per hour. Ideally, I want to cruise faster, but uh, 110 is hopefully good enough. So uh, in order to get consistency, we have to turn off HVAC there. Uh, it's just for the test, you know, and then what about dry mode? Uh, I think we have, yeah, I set it to individual. So I, I can use efficiency mode then. Yes, yeah, another car lower a little bit. And then we reset the trip meter and then we do, uh, let's say two rounds. Okay, round one, 258, okay. Uh, unfortunately, a car passed me, so uh, the result was probably lower than uh, it's supposed to be. So, okay, let's try again then. Round two. Round three. Fourth round now. So, seems that we're getting very consistent results and there's very little traffic. There's a few times we had traffic, uh, but they don't seem to interfere with the result too much. So there's of course a little bit of variation, but still very, very consistent. Uh, what is the time now? Uh, 11.30. Yeah. I chose this route because, because of the lack of traffic. So uh, let's see then this round. Round four. Okay, I have now taped the rings. <laughs> oh, I hope, yeah, this is nice, see? Now we don't get any turbulence here. Yeah, I hope it doesn't rip off. Nah, it's probably good enough. Uh, you know, I could, I could use duct tape, but duct tape uh, might leave some marks, but this is just uh, the, the masking tape you use for, for when you paint or whatever. So, yeah, you see the car actually looks better now. Look at that. <laughs> It's like Rudolph, it has a little nose. Just have to paint it red. Okay, but anyway, now let's do the test again. Uh, round one with taped rings. Uh, shit. <laughs> okay, let's go. Round three, no, wait, round two. Uh, okay. We are consistently getting high results here, uh, 255 roughly. So, as expected, taping the rings didn't help at all. So, yes, you can just take off that one now. So, we don't, yeah, it, it didn't help. I kind of knew it that it didn't help. I just, I just had to try it. Okay, uh, but, um, you know, I want to try one thing because... Um, I wonder why the consumption is so high. Uh, we are only doing 110 kilometers per hour. You know, when I did um, 120 test uh, near uh, Minnesun, I was getting way better result, but that was of course in the daytime. But I believe that this short loop here is bad for the e-tron because it has heavy wheels and maybe it's not that efficient when it regenerates and then when it accelerates. So I've seen similar behavior with Taycan. Also when I tested Taycan on the short loop, I was getting high result, or I mean high consumption. But then when I did Taycan, you know, just going long stretch, then it was better. So let's try now and go further before we turn back so that the highway, the, the, the portion where we have constant speed is longer. And then I believe we will get lower, lower consumption despite higher average speed. What the heck? Oh. 
Okay. I there's this 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 fossil that came in front of me and it's like driving exact same speed as me. So we have to abort. This is it's ruining my uh, aerodynamics and whatever. So yeah, what do I do for a living? I do fail tests. Mm. If you can just go faster than me or slower than me, then ah. Uh, Okay, let's try again then. <laughs> you know, this was the fail result, 257. Well, it was 256 right before I started recording, so at least the results are very consistent. So now let's reset and try again. Okay, let's see now. 110. This is almost 10 kilometers, uh, and then round trip will be 20 kilometers. So. Here we come to the turnaround point. We'll slow down now, go back. Yes, perfect round so far. We are back at the starting point and the consumption was 252 watt hour per kilometer. So slightly lower consumption, but okay, average speed was higher, but I was expecting 230 to 240, but you know, it's getting late now. So well, it seems like this car will, is just thirsty, no matter what you do. You tape the front grill by the front rings. No, it doesn't help. Yeah, but uh, okay. Uh, this will probably be the last video with this car. Uh, tomorrow I will return it to Marcus Biel. He was so nice to lend it to me. So thank you very much, Marcus. Yes, I think that's going to be it for now then. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.